Welcome to the channel everyone. Um, yeah, working on the 70 Camaro here. Doing a little small amount of body work. Uh, lots of sanding. Uh, not much to show guys, but just a lot of sanding. Uh, I've got this side and this door uh, well, it's ready for you. I'm gonna do epoxy primer on it. I wasn't going to I was just gonna seal it But with the the body work I had to do I'm gonna epoxy prime this probably the other door as well but Yeah, I've got the rest of the car. Well, I got the back of the car sanded. I got to do the roof Kind of waiting to do that until I tape off. I got to tape this doorway off then I'll sand that because I don't want all the sand and dust to fall into the car. So, yeah, back of the car is done. I got this door uh, body worked and sanded. Still needs, um, I'm going to do some extra primer work on the doors. I got the deck lid off. Um, it's over here. I think I'm just going to leave it and I'll just do it after I get the body because I just got so much on my plate right now. I'm just just trying to get it hammered down and, and get it done. A um, lot of work for one person here. But yeah, I've got this door mostly sanded out. This door was actually, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the other door was damaged in storage. That's why I had to do the the body work on that. It wasn't because uh, it was there was dents there. It was because we, we damaged it while we had the doors off. I believe uh, Dad dropped something on it, but yeah, it it's, causes a person a lot of work. Every time you damage the the body, you know, it's uh, more work, more time, but Yeah, it's, uh, I'm going to tape off this part. Uh, this part's got to be color, painted color, body color, so is inside there. So I got to, there's a tape line that'll go here and then there, and then I'll cover all this. Another thing I got to do, because that's the, the body's on the, the frame, is I'm going to have to tape all along the bottom and all of them, when the wheel well and everything. So a lot of taping uh, has to be done. Um, I'm going to go in here, I'll spray the insides of the door and then I'll open the door up and I'll get the rest of it from the other side. Could have painted the door separately but anybody that's ever tried to line up these big long heavy doors, it's a, it's a real pain. So I, I feel like the pain of trying to get paint in here which no one's even going to see it because the fender's going to be on. Uh, versus the pain of trying to line up the doors again uh, I'll I'll take more time to spray the paint in there than realign the doors so I gotta do the inside of the door uh, they got some sanding to do on the, the inside of the door they got to do the inside of the bottom of the door I gotta scuff this up and then, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty well sanded out, again, except for the roof. I'm going to pull it out. Uh, hopefully it stops raining because it's misting out right now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to blow the whole car off because there's just so much dust everywhere. And then I'm going to clean up the, the mess I got on the floor while it's outside. I'm going to bring it back in. And then, uh, yeah, start, start taping off, which... I'll be glad to get to that point because I am sick of sanding. Sanding and sanding and sanding here for day after day after day. My fingers hurt. Actually, everything hurts. I'm not going to lie. Everything hurts. But anyway, I got to get back to it. Knock out this rest of this door. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you this tool here. I like to show useful stuff on my videos. Uh, this is actually a stud welder uh, kit, they call it. Um, I'll link one. But uh, basically, uh, I just use this on the, on the door to do some body work. Basically what this does is this gun will weld, weld these studs on there. And then you can use this slide hammer, you grab a hold of them and you can pull the metal out. I, I did a video, I'll link the video. I did a video uh, showing this tool, I think when I did the rear panel or something. You're going to find your dent. You're going to push it on there. And then that's going to weld it on there. You just push the trigger. It's supposed to be for like a second. And I'm going to place a few on here. So I can uh, pull on this dent a few different places. What I'm doing is I'm just using these studs to pull out the dent. But it's a really neat tool. Uh, you know, you, they used to drill holes and then they had a thing that screwed into the hole and then you sl slide hammered it out. Then you got to weld up your holes. This is quite a bit faster. Uh, it's a pretty neat gun. Uh, this also will weld in the um, these little things right here, which are the trim, the trim clip pins on the on this on the windows here. There's these little pins. You can see them right there, and that's what the the trim that goes around the window attaches to. And those uh, come off, so that tool will actually weld those back on. So it, it does do, it does do other, other things besides just the, the dent puller thing, but it, it's worth it just for that. Okay, so finally, I can't believe I'm, I'm about to say this, but pretty much done with sanding. And you see we got a monsoon going on outside, but finally got the, got the roof finished up. I uh, got, it, got it all taped up. So we're pretty much I'm pretty much there. I'm sure I'm gonna go around the car, find a little spot here and there that I gotta that I gotta do. But uh, I just gotta do some more masking now. I gotta cover up the the front of the car. I've got to actually I'm gonna jack the car up so I can get to the underside a lot easier. So I'm gonna jack the car up. I'll show you that once I get it done. Um, I gotta mask the front of the car off and then I, I also got to do the bottom because we got the bottom finished uh, so I can't have overspray going underneath there so I'm gonna have to mask the whole bottom so I've gone from uh, having to sand everything now I gotta I gotta mask everything not everything I guess I got the a lot of it done but it's getting closer and closer guys okay so there it's up in the air it's up in the air quite a bit um, I got the front on some like six by six blocking I think something like that and uh, the rear, I did have it on blocking, 
but then I took the wheels off because I got to get I got to get in, in these wheel wells and thought I was done sanding and I got to get the lips forgot I left them but I gotta get the tire out of the way to be able to spray the lip um, good enough and it's gonna allow me to mask a little better so I don't get um, all kinds of overspray I just got it on jack stands in the back here but yeah now I've got to well I gotta do some more sanding but once I get that little lip done it's uh, on to cleaning. I gotta clean it. Uh, I'll be running around this thing wiping and wiping and wiping. Then I'll have to blow it off and probably wipe it down again. Uh, once I get it all wiped down, I can start, uh, I'll probably start masking the front. Then I can start masking the bottom so I don't get all kinds of overspray under there. I gotta go all the way around the car. Gotta go up, mask it under there. There, I gotta do the wheel wells, so yeah, probably the rest of the day cleaning and masking. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be spraying. Okay, so I'm finally, finally ready to actually spray this thing. Got it. Uh, up in the air so I can get good access to all my lower pieces. It's high enough so I can get them good, but not so high that it's hard to get the roof. I got my little stand I can stand on and get that. But I gotta get the doors uh, in epoxy right now, so uh, that's the first thing I'm doing. So that'll give me kind of an idea how this is gonna how this is gonna go. So. I gotta get to going. It's it's raining today. It's it's kind of humid, so not the best painting weather. But I'm in the shop here. Uh, I, I've kept the doors closed, so it ain't too bad. But I had to wet the floor down, so it kind of actually, when you do that, it kind of makes it humid anyway. But I gotta get going. Okay, so I've got everything uh, in the in the sealer now. Had a few issues, so I'm kind of a day late on the on the paint. I had to fix a few things that I didn't quite like the looks of, but it's it's not it's not going to be perfect said that before 
but it's I think it's gonna look okay I, I've got to move ahead so uh, it's actually time to put the color on so I'm gonna start to mixing up the color and yeah finally we'll get some color on this so I gotta get moving here I gotta get going before uh, gotta get that clear on before nighttime so I don't want another disastrous mosquito especially on the roof or something that would be really bad
So it is red. The whole car. Um, I feel wore out already, and I gotta do. I gotta do the clear coat. But I'm quickly losing daylight. This is like I thought has taken all day to get to this point. Probably because I'm having to put three coats of color on there. I had to do that with the hood because I missed I missed some spots on it, so I had to do three coats. And anybody that's done any kind of paint work knows that you have to do the same thing, otherwise your colors are not going to match. So I did three coats of red on the hood. I got to do three coats of red on the on the rest of the panels. Um, uh, same with the what's underneath. You got to use the same color primer underneath your color. Otherwise, you'd be surprised at how that can change the color of stuff. So, um, yeah, I've almost I almost used all the red we had. I think we had uh, uh, three quarts of red. I'm probably gonna need another quart to finish off a few things, but um, yeah. I gotta get to clearing, cause uh, this is probably gonna take a while. I'm trying to come up with a game plan on what, how to do this. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear the doors, and I'm gonna get them kind of out of my way, done, and open, and then I'm gonna go after. I'm gonna start on one side, just continue, 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 all the roof and all the way down, all the way around the car. I think that's, that's the best way to keep the. The, 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 the clear wet as I go around. I think I got a plan, but next time you guys see this thing, um, it will be shiny, uh, hopefully, unless a disaster happens. So I'll be back. Well, there it is. It's red and it's shiny. Happy with, with the paint. Uh, with the exception of this this passenger side door um, not not real happy with how that turned out um, I mean I knew the the car wasn't going to be laser straight uh, I basically took this car from a primered shell primered fenders and about two two and a half weeks I mean pretty much by myself uh, I've got to this point right here so I mean I, there was gonna be trade-offs uh, for that to get this car running this year um, I'm gonna buff the I'm gonna buff the doors I actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna buff the whole car out I I'm gonna I'm just gonna end up doing it uh, I've got orange peel uh, on this red it's it's really weird. Uh, I can't like see my clear coat. Uh, I, even holding a light, I've got this LED light that I hold, and I, I just can't see the the clear coat on this. I know it, it actually the car almost looks orange. Camera don't like this side. But it almost looks orange, but it, it's it's definitely a red, a red color. But it's it's got orange peel, and like I said, it's it's not perfect. It's not it's not laser straight. But The car uh, is going to be rolling down the road probably uh, late next week. It should be uh, should be driving down the road. So um, hopefully uh, everything goes okay. But like I said, I'm trying, really trying to get this this car uh, done and usable. Um, you know. We, we could have kept going and if you want to make 
a show car, a perfect car. Uh, it takes you 30, 40 years. My dad's going to be an old man. He ain't going to be able to drive. Um, I'm going to be old. Uh, what good is perfection uh, if you get so old you can't enjoy it? So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at with this, guys. Uh, I'm really not happy with myself right now. Um, I should have I should have probably worked on that door more than I did. I thought when I sanded it out, I thought I, I thought I saw that it was decent. Um, actually, right now what I'm doing is I'm I'm actually detailing the rear fender well. I'm using this uh, 3M professional uh, grade undercoating, and I'm just going in there. I've I, I've already done it. I, I taped up the the inside of the fender well and I coated the coated the inner uh, fenders again I sprayed it this way to get the inside of the lip there and there's a little bit of overspray uh, not not the red I didn't get no red anywhere but a little bit of overspray of uh, primer I believe that I sprayed but I did this side got the other side here and it's drying. I'm getting ready to I'm gonna throw the wheels, the rear wheels back on. I guess I'm going to end the video here. Uh, finally, finally got this thing painted.